Right, so today I'm going to make a short little video on how to inject a pig or a piglet. If you're injecting a different animal, you might be able to take some information out of this video and use it to your own benefit. Maybe this video might help someone that's newly after getting a pig, that's new to having pigs, or someone that's been using a vet to do their injections for a while and they want to give it a go themselves. Anyone that keeps animals should be able to give an injection, in my opinion. And you should also have lots of the stuff I have here around your premises when you're keeping animals. I'll just get straight into it and show you what I have and what I'm going to be using today. So the first thing you're going to need is a syringe and a needle. This is the syringe. Right. There's your needle. This is a very big syringe and needle which will be more used by cows, horses, any kind of big animal. Which the needle... And I'll add into it, most, not all of them, needles and syringes will have the size on the packet. This one's a 1.6 inch by 25, you know, 25 millimeter, which will be a fairly big one, which we wouldn't be using today with a small animal. What I'm going to be using today, little syringe, little needle, okay, only a 2 mil syringe. All I'm giving today is 0 0.5 mils, so that's perfect, nice and small, you can move around in your hand. Most syringes and needles you buy now will say for single use only. That's because they're very, very cheap. And they're only made to be for single use because the top part won't be as sharp after using again. So it's recommended that you have a couple of them around your place. So when they're needed, they can be used because it's not good practice, basically, to be stabbing an animal with a blunt needle. You will have the same problem with stabbing an animal with a blunt needle as you'd have by using too big of a syringe. You'll basically hurt the animal and you'll punch a too big of a hole in them. But I'm gonna just stray away from that for a minute and show you what else I have here. Zani mech, which would have Ivo mech and Ivo mech Dean in it, which would be used to prevent against worms, lice, mites. Not using that today. I've done all that last week. What I'm going to be using today is an antibiotic. Or pen and strip. Anyone that keeps animals, I'd hope so, would know what that is. It, in my opinion, it would be the most common antibiotic used in animals. It will save for pigs, cows, and sheep, but it's used on most animals dogs, horses, donkeys to fight against infection. If your dog had a fight, if your pig had a fight, if they have a cut, if you notice they have an infection, it's always good to have pen and strep around so you can give them a dose of it. What else I have here today is Florence Blue Spray. Florence Blue Spray would be an antiseptic. So if you have animals, it's a must have to have around your yard or premises. If you have cuts, anything like that, something that you need to cover up, you get your blue spray out. You can get other different ones, bottles like this one, it's an aerosol one, which is great for an animal that you might think might run away because it's an easier spray on it. This one has more of a squirty spray on it. So if you can hold the animal or have someone hold them, this one's perfect. If it's an animal that you can't hold for too long and you might have to do it really quickly, it's a really kind of spray paint. It's very easy to use. I'm not going to use it today because it's very messy and I'm indoors. Right, another really important thing that you should have when injecting an animal or anything mm. is a notebook and a pen. Mm. When you're finished doing your injections, mm. your warmers, your dosing, write it down. Mm. Because that way you can keep track of when they were injected, mm. what they were injected with, and then if a problem happens the next day and you need to get a vet out or someone out, okay, mm. you have all of it written down. They know what they're given because the vet will want to know what that is if they want to be given a different medication that might counteract with that medication. I'm going to stop the video now. Mm. One other little thing that I have is a bit of water, mm. cotton board, tissue, just mm. something to clean the area before you do the injection. Mm. I'm just going to stop the video for a second and I'm going to get the pig. So here's the pig or pig that I'm going to be injecting today. Okay. Nice and small, so we can hold her here for the video. What I was trying to add into last time when I said about the tissue, if you have any 
antiseptic wipes, which is another must to have around your house, yard, premises when you keep animals. Get them, use them. If you don't have them or you ran out of them, tissue, no problem. Bit of water, it's just to clean the area that you're injecting so that you're not pushing a needle in through dirt and into the animal. So I'm just going to give you a look. When you're injecting the pain, they'll scream like that more right, right, because they don't like being held up. We're going to be giving an intramuscular injection today, which basically means we're just going into which means we're just going into the muscle. When you're picking up your pig, always hold them close to you and tight so they feel safe and secure. Pigs are prey animals, so they're not too into being picked up or messed around with, but some are different from others. So, as I said, we're giving an intramuscular injection, which is an injection into the muscle. With different animals, you can use the back leg. Mainly, most people would use the neck, but the best place to inject the pig is you go behind the ear, if anyone can see that sound there. Okay, I'm just gonna move for the camera. You pull the ear back. You don't wanna go too high and you don't wanna go too low. You just move a bit back from the middle part of the ear. You'll feel the muscle there nice and tight. So what you're going to do is you're gonna give that a couple, a couple pokes, okay? So that when you jab to him with the needle, it's not gonna be that big of a shot. I'm going to put this pig down for a second. Before I do the injection, I was going to set it up first. I'm just going to set it up on the cameras to give people a look. Because if you're new to injecting an animal or anything, you've probably never took the medicine out of the vial. So the more information, the better. Anyone wants to add any information in, comments, anything, go ahead, throw them in the comment section. This is my first hour video, so sorry if I'm not great or I'm not good. The camera quality is extremely terrible because it's on the front camera we phone, but I'm just going to crack on here. I'm going to try and make it as short and sweet as I can and add as much information as I can in. As I said, any information, any info, anything else, throw it in the comments. So, when you have your parents strapped, the first thing to do is you open your little top on it there and peel that back most cases it'll come right off but that's not a big deal very important always give it a good shake because it could have been sitting on a shelf for so long and the contents begin to separate so we're going to turn it upside down like that you're going to get your syringe and your needle you're going to pierce it in okay on your syringe you'll have numbers okay so you know how much is going into it i only want 0 0.5 oh. i always go a little bit more and i'll show you why now because it's an intramuscular injection and it's going to the muscle you don't need to worry about things like air bubbles or anything like that in the needle syringe i should say but that's why I always go a little bit more because I like to take them out and then usually with the air bubble out you're bang on what you need 0 0.5 I'll show the counter now in a second I have tissue paper towels there is lay it down nice and neat so the area is clean for all my syringes needles and everything and then as I just showed there a little bit came out just to keep everything clean okay so now I'm gonna go get the pig Right, so I'm back again with the pig. The reason this pig needs antibiotics is because, and it's very common with pigs, they can get lots of skin conditions, mites, lice, and stuff like that. I'm not 110% sure whether this pig had lice or mites, but this pig is in with other piglets, and they like to eat at each other. And one of the other pigs was after very badly eating this pig here, which left a red raw open for contamination to infections and stuff like that so it's better to be safe than sorry and to make sure all your animals are jabbed up because once it gets the infection it'd be a lot harder to treat against sorry i just had to pause the video there so i'm just going to begin with the injection as i said for the camera i'm going to be doing it this way so as you pick up your pig 
just have a little look behind if you don't want to go too high and you don't want to be going too low kind of in line there at the middle of the year just back there you feel that nice and hard spot that's the muscle as i said a few little jabs i'm going to take my tissue wet it in a little bit of water not too much move out just clean the area When injecting a pig, you want to be going in at a right angle, which everyone likes to say, which can be confusing to some people. Mm. Basically, what they mean is you just want to go straight in, in line with the animal, like a right angle. So you just kind of go straight in. Mm. So I have my needle and my syringe set up already. So I'm going to stand up like this, just so people can get a look there. Okay. So that's exactly there where I want to be going in. There. So I'm just going to say, give a few little pokes first little jabs so that when the needle comes in contact with the pig it's not going to freak out so you're going to take your syringe put it in place ideally depending on how much you're injecting have the numbers facing yourself depending if you're injecting other animals but we'll get into that in a different video so just going to press your needle in And then you're gonna hold. Now move your needle. What you're gonna do is take a clean bit of tissue, find the injection spot. You see a little bit of red there. We're just gonna dab that a little tiny bit. Okay. You're gonna take your blue spray. Sorry, off with another camera here. So you take your blue spray. You're going to give it a little spray. And that's you done. A good practice when you give an animal injection would be to rub the spot around. So that whatever you're injecting in moves around. As I said, it was make it short, simple and very sweet. Okay. If anyone has any comments, any info, any advice, maybe you want to give to me or to other people that I could add into the video, go ahead. Thanks very much.